what evil lurks in the hearts of men. The shadow knows. <laughs> The Shadow, the mystery man who strikes terror into the very hearts of shopsters, lawbreakers, and criminals. Today, the poison death. Mercy Hospital. Quick, send an ambulance to 217 Chalky Road. My children, they're poisoned, dying. Oh, hurry, hurry, please, hurry. Doctor, doctor, what's wrong with my husband? He's been poisoned. Poisoned? Isn't that something you can do? Some way of shielding him? No, I'm sorry, my dear. It's oh. too late. Your husband is dead. Oh. <laughs> This bill. Is that a poison case? Yes. The calls are coming in faster than we can answer them. Well, this one will have to go to general. The emergency ward is full. Not a cot left. The same thing in every hospital in town. They swamped all poison cases. And nobody knows how they're getting it or what it is. Come in, Commissioner Weston. I came over as soon as I got your message, Mr. Mayor. Come on, Commissioner. Do you know why I said by you? Yes. I hate to admit it, but we haven't one single clue to go on. I've had the entire police force working on this poison epidemic for three days, and we're right where we started. And the first rounds of notice sent to newspapers demanding a million dollars ransom or this city of over a million souls will be wiped out, poisoned. I thought it was a hoax. Mayor, it's a wild scheme of a crazed mind. It can't be anything else. I don't agree with you. The ransom note was signed the shadow. This same shadow you claim has helped you solve so many crimes. But it was never asked for reward or credit. I don't believe the shadow sent that note, Mayor. No? <laughs> then look at this photostatic copy of the original typewritten threat. Listen to the way it's worded. For years, the shadow has smashed rackets, wiped out criminal syndicates, trapped murderers without reward. And now the time has come for a settlement. The shadow has saved the city millions. Now the city will pay the shadow one million dollars or the hospitals will be filled with the dying, and the morgues will be filled with the dead. I'm still convinced that it isn't the real shadow who's guilty. You say that because the shadow has helped you so much in the past. I resent that, Mr. Mayor. Well, I resent it. Well, it's up to you to get busy and find out who's responsible. The fact remains that no clues have been found. Well, I've got to have action. I'm doing everything I can. Maybe you are, but you ought to do better. Look at this report. The hospitals are filled with the dying. The morgue is filled with the dead. Hundreds of innocent people, stricken by a poison the health department can't identify. A poison for which there seems to be no antidote. What is it? How is it being fed to the people? Find out or we'll get another police commissioner. Just a minute, there's a phone. Hello? This is Clyde Burke of the Classic, Your Honor. What is it, Burke? We just received another note signed by the Shadow. What this time? Listen to this. I can strike at random, but I can also single out any one of you for death. To prove it, I am going to poison Dan Brinkley, Commissioner of Sanitation. When you get this through the mail, Brinkley will be dead. Hello, Margaret. Thank heavens you're back. Have you discovered who's poisoning all these people who's using your name, the name of the shadow? No, no, Margaret. This year I've worked on is let no Whoever he is, this man masquerading as the shadow must be absolutely insane. There's no doubt about that, Margaret, but it's the insanity of a genius, not of a money-mad fool. What strange, distorted mind could devise such a terrible scheme? Margaret... Let me see that map of the city again. I'll get You it. know, the one where we marked all the areas affected by this wholesale poisoning? Yes, I know. Mm. Here you are, Lamont. There you see. Uh, the cases are widely scattered all over the city. Well, have you any idea how these people were poisoned? They must have been put in food or milk or something. There have been so many poisonings that it doesn't seem humanly possible it could have been administered individually. No, they were poisoned in groups. In every house affected by the poison, no one escaped it. It wasn't poison milk. The newspapers checked on that, and it couldn't have been the food. No, the food those people ate came from a hundred different stores. Wait a minute, Margot. You've just given me an idea. What's the one thing that all these people must have had at some time or another on the day they were poisoned? Uh, what do you mean, Lamont? Margot, I think I've got it. Water. 
Yes, water, that's it. Well, how could that be? I don't know, Margaret, but that's the answer. I'm sure of it. That explains the grouping of the poison cases. But how? Could it be done at the water meter introduced into the main pipe in the basement somewhere? So many different places without somebody knowing. Yes, and Margaret, who could tamper with the water pipes in the basements of any building in the city and not arouse suspicion? Why, why only someone from the water company is the man who reads the meter. Exactly, or someone posing as a representative of the water company. Oh, sir. Margot, come on, let's open the window. Something else has happened. Oh, Lamont, it's like a nightmare. Oh, close the window, Margot. Lamont, why do you suppose Commissioner Brinkley would single out? Margot, distorted mind, especially that of a brilliant man will very often move along a straight line from cause to effect. This case follows a line so simple and so straight that the police do not even suspect who he is, Margot. But in killing Brinkley, he deviated from his original purpose long enough to settle a grudge. This is that one mistake the greatest of criminals make. You mean it's somebody whom Commissioner Brinkley wronged? Yes. But Brinkley may never have wronged anybody. To a man with a warped mind like this, an imagined wrong can inspire revenge just the same. Maybe it's someone who worked under Brinkley, someone in the Department of Sanitation. Margot, the pieces of this crazy puzzle are beginning to fit together. Where's the this paper, the one with the photostatic copy of the ransom note sent by the man masquerading under the name of the Shadow? Oh, here it is, Lamont. I kept it along with all the other clippings. Oh, let me think. For years, the Shadow has smashed brackets, wiped out criminal syndicates... Trapped murderers without a what? Margot. Mm. Look at this. The letter E, it appears five, no, no, six, seven, eight times, and every time it appears out of line. And look. Mm. Look here, the letter A is blurred. Margot, it's like ABC, the obvious clue. We could only find that typewriter. Lamont, out of all the typewriters in the city, it would be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Don't you suppose the police have considered that angle, tried to find that machine? Well, perhaps they have, but without first logically working out the problem as to the one place where that machine might be, they are wasting their time. The one place is the Department of Sanitation. It's, it's so logical as to be incredible. Come on, Margo, get your hat and coat. We've got work to do, and there's no time to lose. But, Lamont, you're not going to the Department of Sanitation at this hour of the night. Why not? Well, suppose you were caught. Don't worry, Margot. The real shadow won't be caught. I need your help if we're going to try out all the typewriters in those offices. It's a job for Lamont Cranston and his assistant, Margot Lane. But if we're caught, how long a sentence can they give us for breaking into a public building? It's worth risking, and far better than sitting here building up theaters and knocking them down again while this... This mad masquerader carries out his monstrous schemes of wholesale murder. Come on, Margot, let's go! It's the last one in here. Well, let's try the next office. Be careful of that flashlight, Lamont. Yeah. There's be a watchman here in the building somewhere. He's down in the basement sweeping. Make sure of that before I signaled you to come in. Oh, it looks like another exploded theory, Lamont. We've tried dozens of machines, and none of them have the characteristics of the letters in those ransom notes. They're not going to stop until we've tried them all, Margot. There's the door there, leading to the back part of the store, Lamont. Uh, yes, it says, um, Private Office of Chief Chemist A.D. Gerber. Let's look in there. Yes, build the machine. There's the only one in here. Try it, Margo. Here's some paper. Yes. I'm glad to get out of this place. Try it the same way, Margo. That's it. For years, the shadow has smashed rackets. White... Well, now, it's a watch. White dark criminal syndicates. Margo. The A blurred. Go on, finish it. Trapped murderers without reward. Now the time has come for settlement. This is the machine that typed the warning notes to the papers. The office of the city's chief chemist. In Gerber's office. It might not have been Gerber. Other people could get to this machine and use it. Margot, everything's beginning to fit together. Who would know more about poison than a chemist? You know, I felt all alone. What was that? Someone in the next room. Turn your head over on that door, Lamont. There's lettering on it. Laboratory. Keep out. Who would be in the laboratory this time, sir? Margot. 
I don't know. I'm going to find out. It may be the man we're looking for. No, no, I think it'll be best if you get out of here. Go back to the car. Wait for oh, me. please, Lamont, let me stay here. You come out, and I might be able to help you if it's that crazy man. No, Margot. Go out to the car and wait for me. Lamont Cranston and Margot Lane have done all they can. The time has come for me to be the shadow. The real shadow must open that door. <laughs> Nerves. Why should I be nervous? No one knows. I'm here all alone. And who would suspect me, Gerber, the city chemist? <laughs> I'll never tell them. They'll never know that Brinkley is dead. They'll make me commissioner of sanitation. I should have had the job when they gave it to him. I guess he knows it now. <laughs> Gerber, bring me that report. Gerber, why didn't you do this? Gerber, why didn't you do that? Treating me like dirt. Uh, all that's over now, though. <laughs> over and done with. Hey, mm, how did that door get open? Must have forgotten to close it. Must be getting absent-minded. Yeah. Got to be more careful. Someone might come in. Might ask me what I'm doing. What I'm making. What are you making, Gerber? <laughs> really? You, 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 uh, what was that? Who said that? Who laughed? The shadow spoke. The shadow laughed, Gerber. Shadow? Yes, Gerber. I am the shadow. You know my name. You've been using it as a cloak to cover your excursions into the realm of murder. Oh, you can make yourself invisible, shadow. Or, or are you hiding? I happen to be master of the ancient art of hypnotism by which I can blind your eyes to my presence. But you are really here in this room. Physically, I mean... Yes, I opened that door. I walked into this room. I am here. Quite near you, Gerber. How did you find me? By a process of elimination. Because you made one mistake in your admirable train of logic. A mistake? Yes. When you murdered Brinkley, the Commissioner of Sanitation, I knew it must be someone who had a grievance against him, real or imaginary. Mm, real or imaginary. Oh, I see. You think I am insane, Shadow? The sanity of a brilliant mind is not measured by ordinary standards, Gerber. Yes, that's it. My co-workers know I'm brilliant. They don't think I'm eccentric because when anybody's around, I'm on my guard. What were you doing when I came in, Gerber? <laughs> Killing this bottle. What is in that bottle, Gerber? What is that crimson-colored fluid? That is the poison, Shadow. <laughs> I'm supposed to be analyzing the blood taken from my first batch of poison victims. But instead, I've been making more poison. You see? <laughs> it's all ready now. <laughs> Would you like some, Shadow? I'll be glad to give it to you. What are you going to do with that bottle of poison, Gerber? Or are you afraid to tell me? No, I'm not afraid. You can't stop me. The devil himself couldn't stop me. Listen, I'm going to drive to one of our fashionable suburbs where all the important people of the city live. There's a high steel water tower there. <laughs> I'm going to climb that tower and pour this little bottle of poison through the trap door at the top. It will be the use it in the water. Carried into the homes of all those prominent people. <laughs> and by tomorrow night, <laughs> they will all be dead. It is fortunate I found you in time. In time for what, Shadow? In time to stop you. Who can't stop me, Shadow? You're not going to leave this laboratory with that bottle of poison, Gerber. Yes, I am. And I'm going this minute, Shadow. <laughs> you see this test tube? Yes. It's filled with acid. I said that will burn you beyond recognition. You forget you can't see me. Yeah, but the only way you can stop me is by physical means. With your body that seems to be not even a shadow. And to do that, 
You must stop your cloak of invisibility. How do I know that isn't a blind to make myself become visible to you? No, it isn't a blind, Shadow. <laughs> I pour a little on the floor. You see? <laughs> Think what that would do to human flesh. And you say you are human. Yes. Yes, I am human. Then I dare you to stop me. At the first touch of your hands, I'll throw it at you. It is better that one man be injured than you should kill another entire community. I am willing to take that chance. All right. We'll see if you're as brave as you sound, Shadow. Stop where you are. No! I'm leaving unless you stop me physically. Then I have no alternative but to fight you, man. Oh, oh you are human. <laughs> All right. Take this. I warned you, Shadow. You will be burned beyond recognition. That person will eat into you to the very bone. Goodbye, Shadow. At last you've met someone who is your match. <laughs> now there's no one to stop me putting the poison in that water tower. <laughs> Yes, Lamont. Did you see a tall part of the bill bank come out of the sanitation building just now? Yes, Lamont. He got in the car. There he goes, going down the street. You can still see the tail. Oh, Margot, in heaven's name, don't lose him. That's the man, Gerber. He won't get away. Margot, it's the first aid kit in the car. Yes, it's inside pocket. Oh, Lamont, your clothes, they're smoking. Yeah. And your hands bleeding. Oh, Lamont, my dear, what happened? Uh, I think Margot acid. He was getting away with a bottle of poison. I tried to stop him. He threw the air. Oh, Lamont, your face. Let me look at your face. I didn't get any on my face. Oh. I broke my arm in time. It's all right. I'll bandage my hands as best I can. Keep your eyes on that car, Margot. Yes. Far more important. Don't lose him. He's heading for the suburbs. This time, Gerber really means business. Margot, we set the poison for the whole community. It's going to dump a bottle of that deadly stuff in the water oh, tower. Oh, Lamont. Oh, you're in terrible pain. I can see it. Let me take care of you. Let me stop at a phone booth and call Commissioner Weston. Let me send out a general alarm and pick this man up. No, Margot, we have a job to do. We lose Gerber if we stopped him. The police wouldn't be any good. We find out where he's going, and then we can call the police. All right, Lamont. No bet. I'll try not to lose him. Oh. Lamont, is, is the pain any easier? You've got to get to a doctor as quickly as possible. Infection might set in. I will oh. soon. Margo, look. Yes. I think Gerber is nearing his destination. He's, he's taking that road up the hill. If I remember correctly, the water tower's at the top. Come on, how will you stop him now, you with your bleeding hands? He's a powerful man, crazy with the strength of a maniac. Well, I've got to do what I can to delay him. Keep him putting that poison in the tower until you can get the police. The police? Uh, Lamont, how is he going to get the poison in the tower? He said there was a trap door on top of the tower. The door they use when they clean the tank. Oh, Lamont, that means you may have to climb that tower. Now, you uh, cannot not put your hands in that condition. It's snowing. You'll be out on the run of the ladder. And in this wind, you're, you're liable to slip and fall. I've got the chances. Stop, Margo. Stop. Grab the water tower. There's the car. Lamont, look, it's Gerber. Yes. He's starting to climb the tower already. Margo. Go on, I'll get the police. Hurry. Tell them to get someone to shut up the water in this tower in case I fail. <coughs> hurry, Margo. Hurry. I'm going up there after him. All right, come on now. Who is that? The man you thought you'd left in your laboratory. Burnt and blind with action. A shadow. Yes. Well, I thought I had you. But all right. Keep on following me. You're a long way behind me by the sound of your voice. Yes. Yes, but you have to stop when you get to the top. I shall catch up with you. Yeah, yes. By, by that time, I shall have poisoned the water. You forget the trap door of the tank may be locked. It will be rusty and easy to break. But it will take time, and I shall be gaining on you. You need to hurry, Gerber. That's too bad you missed my face for that accident, Mr. Gerber. went on you. <laughs> I heard it sizzling into your flesh. On my hands, that's all. Don't you want to see them? <laughs> then you must be suffering holding on to the ice-covered ladder. Not as much as you'll suffer once I reach you. All right, hurry, Shadow. I'm on the top already. Well, you were right, Shadow. 
The trap door is locked. But that won't stop me. I'm going to blow it open with my revolver. <laughs> the lock is broken, Shadow. You'd better hurry up. I'm not following you now, Gerber. Now I'm opening the trap door, Shadow. Yes, yes, I hear it, Gerber, but you'll never put the poison in the water. I have the bottle in my hand. I'm pulling out the stopper. And I'm here to knock it out of your hand. Ah! Yes! You broke it! You spilled the poison! You spoiled my revenge! You spoiled it! But you'll pay for it! You're leaving blood marks on the snow with your hands! You can't get off the top of this tower! You can't get past me to the ladder! I don't need to see you to find you! The blood marks will show me where you are! Come and get me, Gerber! I'm waiting for you here on top of the tank! I know you are! And you can't go any further, or you'll slip and fall to the ground! Hundreds of feet below. Don't be so sure, Gerber. There. There. I touched you, Shadow. You squirm very cleverly. But I've got you. I've got hold of you. You won't get away from me, Shadow. And you won't get away from the police. Hear them coming? <laughs> you want the police? Yes. Yeah. But before they get here... I'm going to throw you off the tower, Shadow. You might fall off yourself if you try to do that. If I do, I'll pull you off with me. And Commissioner Weston, he's come to take you himself, Gerber. You should feel honored. He'll never get me. He'll never take me alive. heard a dramatized version of one of the many copyrighted stories which appear in the Shadow magazine. 
All the characters and all the places named are fictitious, and the similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. <laughs> the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.